Any active member in the Geometry community should definitely recognize the level playing behind my back. For us players, whenever we see a familiar level, a name instantly pops up in our head, screaming, this is Limbo. But I've decided to try an experiment and invited my real life friends to see what they would call it. And it went horribly wrong. I'm going to guess Spectrum Surge. Ocean Rush. What's Metropolis? Before we start, consider subscribing to my channel and let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is GD Substra and today we have the third part of my favorite series on this channel and it's non-GD players trying to dash and also failing miserably. Today we have the usuals, Maggie, Ricky and Yonko. Hello! Hi! Next up we have Adam, which is actually responsible for quite a lot of videos on this channel. I've been told that this game is about geometry, is that right? Oh, you are going to be so disappointed in the end. And last but definitely not least, we have Barb. Hi there. The competition is split in two rounds. In the first one, I wanted to introduce my friends to the G-Dwells environment by showing them many styles and artworks one after another. Their only goal is to give the level a proper name. Doesn't have to be correct, we're just warming up. Okay, this looks like dark and mysterious. Something with magic, maybe? It's Dark Chamber of Secrets. I appreciate piano playing. Yeah. So I I'm going to guess that this is Takupan circles. <laughs> that's just a, just a random guess, random guess. I wouldn't want to be making this, this is just too much for me. Maybe let's say gloomy forest, I don't know. One part of this level reminds me of Gravity Falls. It looks like Hedgehog Sonic. I like the Hedgehog. I would call no. it Mountain Peaks. Maybe it's called Blizzard. Something something with the color gray. Yes, gray scale. Okay, this is really something different from other levels. Epilepsy. Well, you could say that for most of the levels. Yeah, just many neon lights. Mm. It should be called something like overstimulation. I, I would call it something like warehouse. Solid gear. No, it could be fire show. I know that there is some fire, but... Something like Gotham Knight, it looks like the city Gotham. I love that I can see from Ricky's webcam that he's watching my video, because his whole <laughs> webcam is like flashing a certain color. Whoa! It looks like vintage video games. I imagine a 3D dancer dancing to this. There's so much happening all at once. Maybe it could also be called Broken Glass? It's like oh. Interstellar. Ricky, if you are checking the demon list, there's like 90% of the levels I'm showing are on the demon list, so you should probably click it off, <laughs> because this, this gives you like a huge advantage. Unfortunately, Maggie had to leave early for personal reasons, but the rest of our team sticks for the rest of the challenge. Press F for Maggie in the comments and let's continue. Mayong! Yeah, it's my own style. Maybe ninja? That's kind of a basic thing that every American knows about Japan. Mm. Maybe that's how they called it. Yeah, I think it's a bit more complicated than that. Mm -hmm. Wait, is it, isn't that Terraria? No, that's a different game. But Oh, I know what game you are thinking about. This is based on Celeste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have no idea, so I'm going to guess 8-bit dungeon. What's yeah, the name's not gonna called? be easy. Uh, it's called Storming Summit. Oh, oh okay. Summit like the peak. However, things weren't going completely according to plan. Since a couple times I accidentally leaked the name of the level while streaming the level's showcases. Uh, this is the 8th level. This one is very interesting. I'm very excited for this one. Oh, okay. No, it showed the name. It showed the name. You guys probably haven't seen it. I, I forgot it shows at like the middle of the level. Fast and Furious. This reminds me of Ramstein. Just like Firestorm. I really wanted to show you this level and wanted to ask you what do you think about it and how would you call that, it? Does it even look like a geometry dash level? <laughs> oh, this level was uploaded by me. Is it Are You There? Mm. Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Substra. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Off huh? in space is my guess. Paranoia. Anomaly. Anomaly. Teletubbies. It's Teletubbies. Yes. Something is going to happen and it is going to turn into bloodlust. No. And obviously enough, I wanted the video to be interesting by showing them a level with a very unsettling atmosphere. I know that the name will sound really innocent and won't suggest what this level is about. Nothing like a theme park ride. Amusement park? Killer tubbies. That's my guess. I'm sticking with Happy Tree Friends. Uh, there was a really good guess because Happy Tree Friends is usually about looking innocent and then turning into like gold bullshit. You are going to see the name. 
so that's your call. Peaceful, yeah. Okay. You, you guys were very close. The second round, however, will be way more interesting. This time, each level will be complemented with 10 options for their name. Obviously, only one of them is correct. And if they guess the correct one, they get granted a point, otherwise they don't. Whoever has the most points by the end of this challenge wins. I've made a major mistake by saying that the contestants could take their time to make a correct guess. Because apparently Ricky took this rule way too seriously. He takes his time. time in the world. I have all the time in the world. Okay, let's get this. My guess is Black Blizzard. There you are right, this is Black Blizzard. <laughs> speedrun. Is that Sunset Sandstorm? Take your time, it's not Sunset Sandstorm, but you made your guess. Uh, it's called Rust. <laughs> Easy. Uh, and that's uh, that's because like the level itself looks really rusty. You could see the name in the level. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so this is probably not Slaughterhouse. I think it's Crimson Planet. Why do you think so? Because it's all red. I mean, yeah, it was kind of easy if you know what the word crimson means. To spice up this challenge, I've made sure that there is always two options fitting the environment of the level, and Barb had to pay serious attention to guess the correct one. Okay, the music could be a hint, but it could be like seven of them. They are knives mm. with blood. Oh, uh, it could be two of them. Thanatophobia? It is thanatophobia. Uh, uh, and did you know why die? Uh, because uh, thanatophobia is the fear of death. I have some yeah. level, I mean, I mean, that's low, extreme demon thanatophobia. <laughs> no, PC! Level no, the lovely PC, die, die, die. A thanatophobia is not a strategy. Do it, I'm going to be very happy with you. I'm going to guess uh, thanatophobia because uh, thanatophobia is the fear of uh, death. <laughs> Just a little thing I, I know. <laughs> Crazy 3! Let's go. This is going to be called. It's either Trippy Trippy or Spectrum Surge. And I'm going to guess Spectrum Surge. It's Trippy Trippy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, it's all based on one color, that's why it is pretty illogical to be Spectrum Wait, Surge. I'm, I'm... It's not as trippy as the others. It's I not think. as trippy as the one which didn't even have, like, blocks. While I tried to make this challenge difficult, some of the picks were way more obvious than others. The three levels I'm about to show are the perfect examples of it. I will only give you like this image to guess because this is like the easiest one so far. Ocean Rush. Yeah, it is Ocean Rush, GG. That, that was a very hard one. Okay, I already have a guess, but it's all in like desert colors. And th there's the sun, okay, th that just confirms it. Uh, it's Sunset Sandstorm. It is Sunset Sandstorm, <laughs> good job. Wow. <laughs> Yonko, you suck, this was Sunset Sandstorm. I think this is a way obvious Sunset Sandstorm than the previous one. Yeah, but I didn't have these two to compare. But I am on Yonko with this one, because I was uh, choosing between Rust and uh, Sunset Sandstorm. Uh, that one was Rust, definitely, because there were the gears. Oh, I already know the name. Oh, it's Metropolis. Okay, and why do you think so? Wow! On the other hand, this level's name is way more abstract than the ones before, and the style fits almost every option. I left Ricky thinking and let just his imagination to focus on the level. Anyway, guys, before we start, fun fact, this is the hardest level I've completed in Geometry Dash, the, levels, the level I'm about to show you now. A lot of white could be Christmas tree or Spectrum Surge or Crazy 3. Okay, I'm going to guess Spectrum Surge. It was neither of your three guesses, it was called Speedrun because it's like very fast. Uh... <laughs> this is probably going to be very easy, so I'm trying to pick a part that's not so okay, obvious. Oh, white space. Uh, so, I understand why this is really obvious. Yeah, but uh, at, at, this, at the same time, ice. there's actually two uh, levels you could guess with this one. Okay, I see I, and I see a cave. I think it's Frozen Cave. Yeah, it is Frozen Cave. I thought that Christmas okay. sleep would throw you off, 
Because I've always Why? tried to. I, I've always tried to. There's like, no. There's no snow. There are snowflakes. Yeah. What do you mean there is no snow? There was a um, turn what? crucifix. Well, it's red. I barely hear the music. Now you blasted my eardrums. Pen. I have something in common with blood. Well, it's probably bloodlust. It's slaughterhouse. That's what I'm saying with like having two pairs of similar names just to tro throw you off. With like Frozen Cave, Christmas Sleep, and then like Slaughterhouse and Bloodlust. The music sounds like someone being slaughtered. There's also like dead corpses all around the place. For example, this one. So there is something that could make you guess Slaughterhouse instead of Bloodlust. There is something about demons and pentagrams and stuff. And I just thought that they are lasting for blood, literally. That makes sense. However, I've slept with your mother. I see a lot of colors. Spectrum surge. Yay, yoohoo. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of running out of levels. The amount of options left were slowly decreasing, so I decided to add some fake ones to keep the difficulty similar. However, I realized that it would be more fair to reward everyone just half a point, considering the fact that it obviously became easier to pick an option. So, again, I see a lot of colors, and it's a lot of different sorts of light, so it could be something with ultraviolet, so this is ultra violence it does look really violent especially by the because of the last part uh, do, does someone want a second guess wait reanimate it's crazy three. yeah it's crazy three. 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 get that name because it sounds so random <laughs> no but it, it actually looks like it's so circus themed and like everything in circus okay. is like so crazy okay. but but you you can understand where my guess comes yeah. from. Yeah, yeah, I do. Barb, you are coincidentally getting like so many red levels. <laughs> Isn't that literally the same thing that I had? Yeah, I'm wondering. Never mind, it's not the same thing. Uh, well. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> 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 Eric, you are wrong. This is actually called Gloomy Forest. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You guessed it correctly. Okay. <laughs> Easy. We were approaching a level so difficult to guess that Yonko took almost three minutes to think. But did he answer correctly? Let's find out. Okay, I'm not gonna prolong this. I have no idea. I'm gonna say Mesmerize. Mesmerize is one of my fake guesses. I don't even think Mesmerize is in the game. It's called Limbo. Isn't Limbo just like going uh, under a stick? Limbo, what? You know, Limbo with the Limbo, and if you Limbo, you know, Limbo. Okay, there's not a lot of options left. Uh, there's a lot of motion, so it could be reanimate, but I think that it's this one is going to be ultraviolence. It is actually called ultraviolence, but I thought one of my fake guesses, reanimate, is going to throw you off. But yeah, reanimate is a fake guess. I was about to show the last level. However, Barb had an amazing tactic this far. She wrote down every option to avoid the fake ones. Therefore, she knew which one was left to guess. <laughs> it didn't help that I accidentally left the level playing till the end screen <laughs> to confirm the name of the level. Uh, well, Barb, like the last round is kind of pointless. <laughs> I didn't even need to say anything. Before the end, I just want to remind you for the very last time to subscribe, since I'd really like to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. And if we manage to do that, I'll spend a ton of money on Geometry Dash content. I already have a vision, just please subscribe to help me out. Thank you. Okay, so there is no ending reaction in the video because we accidentally miscalculated the point, so I just wanted to say in the post-production that Adam won the race with a whopping 3.5 points, with Ricky and Yonko having 3 points and Barb failing with 2 points only. Goodbye. Okay, thank you guys so much for participating. This was so much fun. <laughs> I'm considering inviting you guys into the next episode.
This was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for participating and I'm expecting you in the next part of my favorite series on this channel. You guys were insane and there is a tiebreaker between uh, Ricky and Yonko, so expect them to fight with each other in the next part. Yeah. Eric, po po <laughs> Eric, powiedz im niech, daj niech dają odbier. Dajcie odbier!